Hello everyone, my name is Brant Kudrowski and this organic chemistry video deals with intermolecular forces, physical properties, and real world examples of alkyl halides. Next we'll go on to intermolecular forces and physical properties of alkyl halides. So alkyl halides have polar carbon halogen bonds. That's important. The carbon in an alkyl halide has a partial positive charge and the halogen has a partial negative. That's due to the electronegativity difference between the halogen and the carbon. The halogen is a much more electronegative element than the carbon, so the sharing of electrons in this covalent bond is not equal, and the halogen develops a partial minus charge, while carbon develops a partial positive charge. That influences their physical properties and their intermolecular forces. Alkyl halides have van der Waals attractive forces, as do all molecules, but they also have dipole-dipole interactions potentially if the molecule has a permanent dipole. Most of the alkyl halides are mildly polar molecules and they are water insoluble. So here's an example of a type of alkyl halide. This is 1-chlorobutane and I've indicated here that the carbon is partially positive and the chlorine is partially negative. This molecule has one bond dipole, so it has a polar bond, and therefore it is a polar molecule. If you imagine another one of these molecules close by, the interaction here between the partially negative chlorine of one and the partially positive carbon of another can lead to an intermolecular force. This is a dipole-dipole type interaction between the two molecules. So this dipole-dipole interaction is an attractive force. This is not a hydrogen bond, so hydrogen bondings have different rules, and this is much weaker than a hydrogen bond, but it's uh, a type of intermolecular force that alkyl halides have. Once in a while, alkyl halides will be nonpolar if their bond dipoles cancel out perfectly. Uh, carbon tetrachloride on the previous slide was an example of that. Carbon tetrachloride has polar bonds, but is nonpolar, so that's something to just be aware of. Here we've got some examples of alkyl halides in everyday life. So alkyl halides turn up in the world in a number of places, and this is not an exhaustive or comprehensive list by any means. It's just a, a list of molecules to give you a feeling for where they turn up sometimes. So one place where alkyl halides are important is in refrigerants. So these are the liquids that are present in refrigerators and air conditioners that help make them work. Uh, and there's a big history of these things being used for this purpose. Uh, some of them have contained chlorine in the past and they have been mostly eliminated in favor of molecules like this where they're fluorinated alkanes. So in this case, there's a mixture of this difluoromethane and this molecule, this uh, fluorinated ethane molecule. This is a product called R410A. It has also brand names called Puron and Forane and some others as well. So this is a very common refrigerant that's used in air conditioners and refrigerators. Drugs also contain alkyl halides on occasion. So here's an example of an antibiotic. So this is chloramphenicol. This is a broad spectrum antibiotic and it's a complicated molecule, but if you look over here on the left side, there's an alkyl halide component to it. The molecule is multifunctional, but alkyl halide part is one part of it. Here's a molecule that's also uh, a drug. This is called halothane. So this is a general anesthetic and this is completely alkyl halide based. So there's fluorines, there's a chlorine, and there's a bromine in this molecule. Then another class of important molecules in everyday life are materials. So materials are things like plastics, for example. And this is an example of a plastic that is an alkyl halide. So polyvinyl chloride, or PVC, is a alkane that has chlorines on it. And these are very long molecules called polymers. So here the brackets indicate that this unit inside the brackets is repeated a number of times and N can be quite large. So these are very, very big molecules a lot of times. Uh, and this is what PVC plastic is composed of. So this repeating unit with the chlorine carbon bond here is what makes up PVC and PVC is used pretty commonly in pipes. Another interesting material based on alkyl halides is polytetrafluoroethylene or brand name Teflon. So this molecule has as its repeating unit this species in the brackets repeated 
n times, where n can be a very large number. So the presence of the fluorines on this heavily fluorinated molecule make it not stick to many things. So that's the special characteristic of Teflon is that it doesn't tend to stick, things tend to not stick to it 